talk yep. to you. That's so cool. So Frank Seppi, uh, we go way back to the 90s, um, back in the day when you just shot with people and you kind of did a lot of photo shoots with yeah. specific photographers. Uh, with Rick Schaff, uh, Irvin our Alex Gelb. Irvin Gelb, Alex Ardenti. Irvin um, Al. Yes, Irvin Al. <laughs> and it was like there was a very few select photographers, mm -hmm. other than the contracted like weeder ones, right? Right. But there was just a select ones, and then which you would meant shoot no all the time. payment. Which yeah. means you're, which meant you're not getting paid. And, you show, yeah, oh. and you had to show up with your own clothes and your own tan. And you had an attitude if you didn't have your a specific suit or whatever. Oh my gosh, Don't you have like, a red a red one? No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So when we met, that was like your very beginning of bodybuilding career, first, right? First cover ever. Wait, you and me? You. <gasps> and I didn't know that. The first one ever, 19, 95. 1995. And Monica was on my back. And it was, was a like muscle bag. Yeah, it's one of my favorite covers. <laughs> like, let's duplicate it. And the same shoot, we did another cover with you, me, and uh, Marla Duncan. Okay, and Marla was mm -hmm. my inspiration to start fitness did you know that no so when i yeah i remember tearing her picture out of the magazine and i had it up on my wall mm -hmm. but, and before because i did the fitness usa competitions mm -hmm. and that's what she started in oh wow and she had so won shoot her. Wow. i know and then she had actually hired me to do some work with her clothing line she had a, a cute clothing line so i was a model for her clothing line and we still keep in touch oh really yeah like every once in a while but she's like completely out of all the industry but I would call her That's once in a while, text her, and check in on her, and say hi. And it's really fun to be able to continue with relationships. That, the yeah. relationship, exactly. Um, so, so that's what my show is about. Relationships. It's about <laughs> yes, it is. So in 2020, the lockdown happened, and I wanted to just reach out to all my old friends mm -hmm. that have helped create the industry. Okay, great. And I started with Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, you know, we worked forever together, and here, yeah. right. And I hey. I'm doing this show. I said, will you be my first okay, guest? Buddy. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's been um, almost two years now, and it's been really fun to just reconnect with everybody. And I, what I'm really understanding is what I'm able to do here is start reminding the new people or teaching the new people who the legendary people are that have helped create this industry that they're enjoying now. So I'm trying to do with the Olympia, too. And Familiarize people with Lee Haney. So he was such a great. I know, did such interview a great with him. Great, great, great. So great. Of all time, so like, before know. we go on, I want to uh, share. What are you doing now? Currently, besides my looking title amazing, is, I'm <laughs> director of media development for Mr. Olympia Weekend, the Muscle and Fitness, Muscle and Fitness Hers, and Flex. I'm also um, I work with Cellular Core, Nutribolt, Extend, and C4 Energy. And I have a whole bunch of other little businesses and stuff that I work right. with and stuff. Book, I have a book. I do a ton of muscle and fitness live series. A book coming out will be my ninth book. Wow. Um, but when yeah, do, when do you have stuff. time to write? Is it 2 you know o'clock in the morning? It, <laughs> you know what? You can sit in front of a computer and look at the screen and like have everything in your coffee and, and nothing will come to you. But yep. it comes to you when it comes to you. First book took me a year. The second book took me 11 days. So it depends. Wow. Like, it depends on what it is. Yeah get a swift kick in the butt so but when you get a deadline you gotta go right but yeah. right but i've been doing a, a ton of other stuff i do a lot of my company does a total social media for a lot of different other top fitness brands and stuff so i keep it busy absolutely yeah and you're in new york i'm in new york single no. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a father i'm a father my son's 13 I'm divorced um yeah that's pretty much what is your son into computers okay yeah so does he help coding. you when you need some extra information on something does he help or is he um, can you ask him no, to help he's, anything he's amazing he's um can code he can do things oh, from scratch wow. he's great you know that's um, awesome that's yeah. awesome to have he's really into like he wants to be the next elon musk pretty much okay so yeah okay <laughs> yeah. You know, so. well it's the consist it's because of the consistency of your career right you started and you never stopped you like just kept going in the direction that was in front of you and you stayed true to that and you were well, you were a professional and well, so a lot of people appreciate, appreciate that well you know if you're in the cover of a magazine back in the day yeah. if you weren't say Iron Man maybe 40 50 thousand people will see it. right tops right but when you do one of these YouTube videos you know that we do and like I did a TikTok video the other day got 2.6 million views so it's like Wow. Not, you, they weren't selling 2.6 million covers back right, then. Right. So it's like more, you know, people that 
really aren't even in your kind of frame, like you know, industry, are now noticing you because all the different social media platforms. So, so do you tell you recommend people get on TikTok? Um, are you on TikTok? I am. Right? Okay, yeah, so no, I am. Are. Yeah, we do. I do a lot. I just, I actually started my account a couple of weeks ago. I went viral twice. My son's like, "You'll never go viral." I'm like, "Really?" <laughs> I go, "Wait, watch me, watch me go through the algorithm and find, figure out." But there's certain things. But yeah, it was like 2.6 million. I was like, "Wow, this is cool." I think it's the number one place right now to sell things. Okay. So if you're in the industry and fitness and stuff, you get more eyes on that, you know, on the product. So, so yeah. how do you keep up with doing the work and doing the social media? Do you have help? Yeah, I have help too, okay. but usually I'm extremely hands-on with everything that I do with them. I do everything myself for the Olympia and, and you have muscle a purpose fitness and it. stuff. So and the other partners for the other one. So you work with Dan Solomon? Dan Solomon's the President and Chief Operating Officer. Right. Of, so. I had him on the show. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's yeah. a great guy. And yeah, I worked Jake Wood, who's the owner. Right, right. Um, I was here last year with Jake, and you know, there was nobody here. There was right. nothing here. So this is fantastic that we're back. There's a lot you of know, people here. Up and running again, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I work with Dan, Jake, um, Zach over at Muscle and Fitness. And okay. Everyone. We have a really good team, you know. There's yeah. so many, so many things going on, like initiatives in Muscle and Fitness. Right, right. 